and then some? Because I got to pay this guy. I got to pay my workers. I got to pay me. And the, the grooming alone on that razor thin mustache is costing me thousands a month. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wheat Hours here today, taking a look at Cartel Tycoon. Hints in the title as to exactly what we're going to do here. There's a little bit of tycoon. There's a little bit of logistics. There's a little bit of city building going on. There's a lot happening here, all taking place in the glorious late 80s, a magical time to be alive. What we're looking at now is just the demo version of this. It's just sort of a taste of the game to come, but you can download this for free on Steam if you want to. I've left a link to their page down below, so if you want to go check out Cartel Tycoon, check out this demo, maybe add it to your wish list. go ahead and do that there. I'm just going to jump into a new game and see what the demo of Cartel Tycoon has got. Well, there's me, good old Felix, looking exceptionally Miami Vice in my floral shirt and razor-thin mustache there. This business will be the death of me, the soil is infertile, the lab is inefficient, and we're running out of money. So I have to load the lab to its efficiency and get at least something out of this soil. It looks like we're not completely running out of money, Felix. We've got $48,000. That's not a small amount of money, and apparently, according to this, it's all legal money. We're good, man. We're good. Nobody is after us for $48,000 worth of legal money. Let's see what we've got to do here. Well, let's throw this right into pause because time is passing here. It's March 28th, 1989. I... I have an idea of where my life was at on March 28th in 1989. That's not true. I actually don't remember most of 1989. But anyway, back to Cartel Tycoon. We've got to build one more warehouse, at least five farms growing cannabis, and get the efficiency of the lab to more than 40%. Okay, what am I looking at here? Here's me. Here's Felix. So this is my um illegal farm over here. Uh, if you just hung on a little bit later, Felix, it was all going to be made legal in time, so you didn't really need to go to this extreme, but here we are. Here we are. I've got three farms. I have a warehouse. I have a lab. I've got some trucks, and they're all running stuff back and forth. Let me just see uh, what exactly are we doing here. Yeah, we're running from the farm into the warehouse, and then the warehouse into the lab. Okay, pause it up there. Pause it up there. So we got some logistics to deal with, which is where it all falls apart for me. But we got to get things from A to B to C and back again. Let's start with something simple. We need five farms. We've got three. Seems to me I need to build two more farms. So buildings, what have I got? Farms? Okay. Chemical factory? Right. Research required for that. Plantations? I would imagine those are kind of an upgraded farm. And a sawmill. Are we getting into the lumber business? Is that illegal? I don't know. Anyway, farm, let's build that. Let's build that right over here. And have I got, because I believe I do, my favorite thing in any kind of city or town builder, you guessed it, 360 degree building rotation. Don't chain me to a grid. I'm going to pop this guy right by the road because that seems to make an awful lot of sense. If we put that down right there, it's in pause, so I don't think anything's going to happen right now. And then what if I put another one? I mean, they're, I've, I've got the money. They're only a thousand bucks a pop for a farm. We're actually doing pretty good, Felix. I'm going to pop this guy right here. Okay, get that going along there. That just shoots right up there. That's building, and this one is building. Now, I believe I'm going to need, because we got trucks, I'm going to need a road to connect these guys. Sandy road, gravel road, and asphalt. Asphalt? Asphalt? Aspahalt? Anyway, a regular road. So, oh, what's areas and routes? Oh, I don't know that yet. That sounds logistically... Okay, how about... How about we did, like, the mid-grade route, like a gravel route? So if I... Looks like I can start it anywhere along the perimeter of the farm, and it's kind of snapping to that line. And then I could go to, say, here? Will, will that work? Let's find out. Let me do one up here, too. So you to you. Let's see what happens here. Are we going to get stuff? All right, looks like we're growing cannabis. So there's nothing to truck out of here yet. We're still growing the, um, you know, the stuff. And I need another warehouse. So 
Where do those live? Production? Nope. Communication? Communication. Okay, warehouse. Ooh, the warehouses are pricey. Aerodrome, you say? Okay. Um, let's build a warehouse. Let me 360 this up a little until it's exactly the way that I want it, barring the trees that are in the way. Can't really get this too close to here. How about we built this... If I build it over there, can will the trucks go over there? I'm not really sure. Can I pop it maybe in here at all? No. No, a little limited here. Okay, how about we popped it right there? I don't know if that's really a good place for it, but, but we'll try and find out. So can we... Oh, yeah, we can swing this all the way around here. Let's get a road such as it is. Oh, hi. Hi, Felix me. Uh, thank you for guiding my thoughts and actions. I am but a worm. I'm not. I've got a great shirt and a razor-thin mustache. Now, apparently just throwing down the warehouse has completed my quest. I guess the all the cannabis went to the labs, and the labs were efficient enough, because we're moving on to going over to the aerodrome and getting this stuff out of the country, or at least out of our immediate vicinity. Okay, I still want to put a road over here. You're not stopping me from do the, doing that, so that can go right there. There, I feel better about that. I feel it should have a road. Why do you have a little exclamation mark? What's your problem? What's your what's your deal? I don't think any of these trucks are going to go up to this warehouse because they're all just going right to this warehouse. I did kind of mess with this for a couple of seconds last night, and it does seem that they need a direct path. Like they're not going to come down here, go through this warehouse and then go up here. What if what if we did a road from like here to here to here? Would that work? Does that work for you guys? You going to send a truck over there? I mean, it's largely irrelevant because I believe I've completed what I needed to do. But I'm concerned by my little exclamation marks here. I'd like to know what the problem is. And what's your problem? While we're talking about problems, what's your problem? Okay, I think you guys were just having a problem because the product is not getting there quickly enough. The second there's product in the lab, everything's fine. And then you're, then you're totally fine. You're not fine, though. You're still not fine. You have an exclamation mark. And that worries me tremendously. What if we did road there? And how about... Ro I'm probably blowing all my money on roads here, but I'm trying to make sure that things can get where they need to get to I feel oh it's worked it's worked okay so yes this truck is now going to this warehouse all right so they really need like a super direct path from A to B they're not they're not making any turns here this is this is a one-way trip down a one-way street. They're not making any turns at all. Uh, we should deal with the whole getting stuff out of the country thing. Well, task number one is to move a lieutenant to the warehouse, probably to direct things to go where they need to go. I believe I can take a look at my yeah list of lieutenants. My entire my entire army is me. My entire army. I'm it. I am the only guy taking charge around here. Okay, well, Felix, we're up. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't think I can change Felix's name, but I can absolutely change Felix's nickname. Hang on. There we go, there we go. Felix's nickname is now El Devo Magnifico. That will inspire fear in the locals. Let's move me. Oh, oh, that's easy. Oh, nice little arc. Oh, that's that's very intuitive. I like that. Uh, so to the warehouse. Off I go. I get in my little car. I go to the warehouse. Great. Now what I need to do. I need to deliver dried cannabis to the aerodrome using my general orders. Okay. Deliver. And, oh, and we got to pick what we're going to deliver. The dried cannabis and another arc to the aerodrome. Boom. Okay. That's really intuitive. I'm going to go out there and make sure the stuff is going where it needs to go. But I'm pretty sure I've done that correctly. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to go out and supervise. But now I've got to tell the warehouse to deliver stuff there. So where will we be doing that? Ah, area destinations, the lab, and now, oh, additional destinations. That's what we want. And we're going to go right over to the aerodrome. All right. So when you guys get, and they're off, they're already off. They've already listened to the orders of El Devo Magnifico, and they are just jumping in that truck to get over there. We still got 38K left. I feel we're doing very well so far as a cartel. Now, how do we sell it? I've got the production thing. I mean, it's in the truck here. We might want to... I don't know what kind of road that is. Can I tell what kind of road that is? 
No, because it seems you're moving really slowly on this road. Very, very slowly. I hope we get some better vehicles later. I'm over here hanging out. In fact, I'm asleep. I've gone to, I've, I'm taking a nap in the aerodrome. But how do I sell it? Is that something I can do here? I think I might have set this up to do this automatically. Oh, a plane came in and took off. Oh, that's very good. Have fun with the dried cannabis, guys. Try and get a good price for that somewhere. From what I can gather, just briefly going through the menus here, I seem to sell things automatically. So I sell dried cannabis at 370 per per unit of it. Oh, oh no, per ten. Yeah, it is per unit because I sold ten. I just saw this now. I sold ten, and now I've got 3,700 dirty money. Oh, good for me. Oh, well, Davo Magnifico is off to a roaring start. Here comes my plane again. But check this out. I can sell all sorts of things, not necessarily illegal substances. So, all right, methamphetamine, mildly illegal substance. I'm not going to lie about that. Cocaine, which I love the little icon, is a credit card. That's hysterical. But check it, check it, check it. I can sell coffee on the Wee Hours cartel. I can sell, I can become a coffee magnate. I, apparently, I can sell televisions and spice and vegetables and consoles i can i can sell video game consoles what's going on over here chicken i i could just sell chicken or a drug pack oh i guess kind of a little variety pack there if you're not really sure how you want your evening to go all right neat so we don't actually i mean we're saying cartel it might be a cartel of televisions this could be a perfectly legitimate business. This could be like the Godfather. We're going to gradually move into more and more legitimate businesses. It never really actually worked out for that family, but that was the theory. Now, while we're waiting to sell 50 units of it, is there anything I need to do to the farms? Oh, right here is where I could set them up to do different things. I can't make them grow coffee, which is really frustrating, or chickens, apparently, but I could have them do vegetables. Oh, and kind of like a a tropico thing. I've got a little sort of fertility of the soil thing. I could get an idea of where it might be a good place to grow things. Oh, that's good. It's very much a tropico vibe to this game. I mean, the first thing that I'm seeing with the logistics side of this, which I'm terrible at, I'm awful at production line games. I like playing them, but I'm just very, very terrible at them, is if I were setting this up from scratch, I'd want a lot more of this in a big straight line. Just have one road going to all the farms, basically. So every farm would be along the main road, and then I just have tiny little roads where they could turn in and out, and then put the warehouses and, and labs at the end or the beginning or one end of that road closer to the aerodrome so they can just zip over there and get catch the little plane guy as he comes in and sell our substances, or indeed, coffee or televisions. Uh, the cops are here. The cops showed up. All right, we sold 50 units of cannabis and the cops are here already. So Pablo here is looking for a little, um, little, uh, little favor, a little financial favor from El Devo Magnifico. How much are, um, how much are my favors going to cost me here? Uh, good health to you. I'm not interested in your friendship. Whoa, 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 whoa. Felix, aka El Devo Magnifico. Don't don't hang up on the cops that quickly. Pablo here looks like he's seen some things in life, and we're we're kind of noobs at this. Pablo isn't exactly specifying how much of a financial favor he is requesting, aggressively requesting, but I'm going to go ahead and say I oh, now we'll find out. 100,000 a month in legal money. Legal money. I gotta, I gotta launder that 17k there, or I have an attention star, and I'll have to pay 50,000 in legal money in a month. Okay, I haven't really hit what happens when the cops raid the place, although I know they do that, only because I've seen it in the trailers for the game, and I assume, going GTA logic, that having attention stars is bad. We probably don't want to have attention stars. Can I generate? $100,000 in legal money a month and then some? Because I got to pay this guy. I got to pay my workers. I got to pay me. And the, the grooming alone on that razor thin mustache is costing me thousands a month. It's April 9th right now. I don't know that I can actually generate this much money, but I'm going to play along with Pablo here for right now 
because El Devo Magnifico has an empire to build. And conveniently, El Devo Magnifico would like to give me a tutorial on how to launder money, because we got 17k, but we can't do anything with it. What would you like me to do here? You would like me to deliver dirty money from every any warehouse. Wait, I keep money in the warehouse? Warehouse's storage is full. If you have attention stars, various security officials will come to crowded warehouses. Ah, okay. So more warehouses means less crowding, which means less attention that we're gathering. I would like to inspect that. Thank you very much. Yeah, I got 75k in this warehouse, and it can hold 10,000. How about warehouse number two here? All you're holding is a little dried cannabis. Can I make you hold money? Can we spread the wealth around? Anyway, we should we should deliver the money like somewhere else. How do we make that happen? I found the bank, and I found this fantastic gold watch with skulls and crowns on it. El Devo Magnifico needs to get himself one of those. Assign it like a destination for any residence. Okay. So if I if I put this in, how how do we make you how do we make money come over here? and then give it back to me. Well, I can do it by setting a destination, but that also just took off the aerodrome as a destination. Let me see if it's in, yeah, bank, no input. I don't know. It's certainly telling me deliver money from a warehouse to the bank. So if I add an additional destination to the bank, now what? Now what are you guys gonna do? Let me take it off pause here. What's your move exactly? Uh, money is flying out of my warehouse, and I'm not sure why. It's it's like my trucks just exploded. But you got 2,500 in cash, and you're off to the bank. Great. But now you're not taking stuff to the aerodrome. What if? Can I tell which farm is which? Yes, I can. Okay, good. So, if I take a can I take a farm off, and then put the aerodrome back in? Is that a thing that could happen? Because I'd like to have multiple destinations for these trucks. How about you're taking... How many destinations can I put in you? Because I'd like you to go to the aerodrome. And we need to keep making money here. The cops are going to be at my door next month. You're going to the aerodrome, but that's all I can do. Now, why do you have so much fewer destinations? Is it because of the roads? Because you've only got two roads to each of the farm and then a lab. Yeah, you're not using this road to go between warehouse to warehouse, are you? Can I make that happen? I mean, I can. I could just set the warehouse as another destination, warehouse to warehouse. But I really need the money going to the bank. And P.S., how long does this take? You got 2500 of my money in eight hours. Theoretically, that will be legal money. I'll, I'll check back in with you in a bit. Yeah, the money laundering thing is going fine. I'm just making sure that we are making trips to the aerodrome with the illegal substances. I can't, for the life of me, I'm sure it's very, very obvious to, well, literally anyone who who's not me, how to get the dried cannabis in this warehouse over to this warehouse, because each warehouse only seems to be able to go one place, which is a little weird. I'd love to just tear all this down and start from scratch. I mean, I could theoretically upgrade it if I had the research to do it, and I wonder if that would give me additional destinations or more storage or something along those lines. Felix, let's start from some fundamentals. Can you show me a tech tree? Not that I can find immediately, and I notice $2,500 in cash has been lost. Felix is not okay with that. El Devo Magnifico does not stand for cash being lost. It's down the street. How did you, air quotes, lose it? But the warehouse is still drawing attention because it's still full. Okay, okay, here's my thought. I'm going to build a new warehouse. This is how this is going to go down. I'm going to build a new warehouse, and I'm actually going to build this warehouse closer to the aerodrome, like it should have been in the first place. So you go there. And then what I'd like, what I want to do is take all the dried cannabis from here and bring it over there. That's what we're trying to do. Can I do that from the lab? Is that something we can do? Again, not that I can see. I'm sure there's a way to do that. There's got to be, but not, not that I can immediately see here. 
So give me, uh, yeah, sure, the gravel road. And let's go, can I, oh, I can make just multiple little roads here. Oh, that's very good. Okay, go to there. And then just get you a quick one right to the road here. Get out of that. So that should get you, I hope, to the lab. But you might not, you might need a straight line to the lab. What can uh, what can we do here? I'm going to set up an additional destination of the lab and see if they'll do that. And maybe store some of the cannabis over here. But now I'm stuck with just one destination. I bet it's an upgrade thing. I bet I have to upgrade to add multiple destinations to this. That's the only thing I can think of at this point. How's the money coming along? Not that great. We're not really um, laundering that very quickly. And we're not going to be if people keep losing it. Yeah, I found the, the door to the tech tree here in the research center, but that's not available yet. So nothing we can do there. Just really waiting for the bank to launder more money. I'm a little concerned that I haven't seen any trucks leaving with money. I, I might have a, a labor problem here. Uh, what is your problem? Why are you so angry? Oh, yeah, you're, you're completely jacked on storage. Okay, are you not taking stuff to the aerodrome? Is that not a thing you're doing anymore? Can I get more trucks? That would seem to be a big help if I had more vehicles. What's going on over here? This is, this is a village, and this is basically my village because it's yellow. I like I don't own it, but these guys are wicked chill with me. Okay, and then you over here. Yeah, you're an enemy cartel. You're not chill with me. Fair enough. Did you take my 2500? Because I would prefer you didn't do that. Well, when in doubt, put more roads up. That's what I say about things. So have a road going there, and then you can have a road going there. Maybe if I can link some of these farms up. That might be part of the problem. This warehouse isn't doing anything. It's not getting the raw cannabis to take to the lab. So it's got to start at the farm, go through the warehouse to the lab, and then from the lab back to the warehouse. I know you're full. I would love... To have you bring some stuff to warehouse number three. But here we are. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. No one is surprised by that information. Ah, warehouse number one no longer has any money. Where's all my money? Where, where's where's my alleged $18,950 in illegal money? Who's got my money? Do I have my money? Is my money in that warehouse? No. My, my money... My money's disappeared. El Devo Magnifico is my... You know what? I gotta I got get back in action here. I gotta keep an eye on things around here. Go back to the warehouse. You just were missing eighteen, nineteen thousand dollars $19,000 in money. Does the bank have it? No. No. That's a concern. It's, it's just disappeared. El Devo Magnifico needs that really neat gold watch the bank is selling. It's got skulls and crowns on it. Somebody needs to tell me where Felix's money is. I'm just going to check to see if Felix has it in his pockets. No. No. He's got some dried cannabis in his pockets and some undried, raw, freshly picked cannabis in his pockets. But I don't have my money. I was just... I know. I know. Stop laughing. I was actually going through the tutorial help area over here and it said that lieutenants can deliver things personally. So I thought maybe... Maybe Felix had stuffed his pockets with $19,000 worth of dirty money and was going to take it to the bank himself. But no, that does not appear to be the case. Where's my money? And Warehouse 1 seems to have a real problem figuring out how to get to the aerodrome. I'm going to just draw them a line. There's a line right there, guys. That That's, that's how you get to the aerodrome, please. No? Because they've got a warehouse full of dried cannabis. They're not taking it anywhere. I'm concerned. That my cartel has somewhat ground to a halt here. I'm missing $19,000 and no one can pull a truck out of warehouse one. We may be hitting the limits of the demo or I'm doing something catastrophically stupid. Just a heads up, it's probably the second one. It's probably the second one that I just said there. But that seems like a, a good place to call it on... El Devo Magnifico's look at Cartel Tycoon. I do want to check this out when this is released and see what I can do with it. This is an 
awfully fun game. A lot of Tropico vibe off of this, except, you know, highly illegal. And if anyone knows where my 19K is, please let me know, because I want to buy that watch with the skulls and the crowns that the bank is holding on to. But we'll check out some Cartel Tycoon when it is released. We'll keep an eye on it and see what it develops into. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. If you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this circular nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. W what does that mean, Deja? That's the strangest thing I've ever seen in a game, and I've been playing video games since Pong. I have perpetually and consistently blown all of my money on decoratives in any tycoon game I've ever played. Finally! Somebody has recognized my effort and given me an award for it. Hello, miss. I, I would like to purchase some baked goods and a cappuccino. To go, please. I've got things to do around here.